Hey guys, right here I have a 2019 BMW 520i luxury line. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors automatically folds in and upon unlocking, they fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously and to roll them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Standard on the G30 5 Series in Malaysia is BMW's Comfort Access Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the four door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. With Comfort Access, you get a push button start system as well. So to start the 5 Series, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. Upon turning on the ignition, the steering wheel will move back to its last recorded position before the engine was turned off the previous time. For the G30 5 Series steering system, it comprises a rack and pinion unit with electric power assistance. The luxury line gets a sports leather steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. The only transmission available for the 520i is an 8-speed automatic with a sport mode and Steptronic manual shifting via the gear lever. Standard equipment include the parking assistant automatic parking system, a reverse camera with active guidance signs, and front and rear parking sensors. Within the camera display, one can select the park assist system, turn on or off the reverse camera, tune the brightness and contrast, turn on or off the guidance signs and obstacle markings, and bring up the settings menu. The topmost button to the right of the gear lever, press it once and it activates the dynamic traction control system, press it longer and it deactivates the dynamic stability control system. Below it is the driving experience control driving mode selector. Sport lets drivers drive in a sportier manner, with two options to choose from, standard and individual, where the former is a standard sport setting and the latter allows drivers to select their own sport settings. Put the car into adaptive mode and it adapts itself to the driving conditions of the road in front. Eco Pro is a fuel efficient mode, and like Sport, there are two options, the standard setting and the driver configurable individual setting. Comfort is the default setting upon startup. For safety, the 520i luxury line receives 7 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake control, dynamic brake lights, cornering brake control, a tire pressure monitoring system, and mobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats. The luxury line comes with a set of 18-inch V-spoke style 684 light alloy rims. This 520i rides on 245-45R18 Pirelli Cinturato P7 run-flat tyres. 
Standard at all four sides are ventilated disc brakes. The suspension uses double wishbones in front and a multi-link setup at the rear. The 520i in Malaysia receives the Dynamic Damper Control Adaptive Suspension System. Back in the early 70s, BMW adapted a new numbers and letters naming scheme. The first model to use this new scheme was the first generation 5 series, also known as the E12 generation. Since then, six other generations have been produced. The current 7th generation model was first unveiled in saloon form in October 2016 before making its public debut at the 2017 North American International Auto Show. This was followed by the touring body style that debuted at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show, and lastly the long wheelbase saloon body style came out at the 2017 Shanghai Motor Show. Code names for the saloon, the touring, and the long wheelbase saloon are G30, G31, and G38 respectively. The G38 5 Series is only sold in China. The 7th generation 5 Series is due to get a facelift in 2020, supposedly for the 2021 model year. Powering the 520i is a 2-litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine. Dubbed the B48B20 by BMW, this engine is equipped with Velvetronic variable valve lift, double Venos variable valve timing, and high precision direct injection. It produces 181 horsepower at 5000 to 6500 rpm and the torque is 290 Nm at 1350 to 4250 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 7.8 seconds and the top speed is 235 km per hour. The fuel tank size is 68 liters and the combined fuel consumption for the 520i automatic is 6.2 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 141 grams per kilometer, and the 5 Series is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Five variants of the 2019 5 Series are offered in Malaysia. The 5 are 520i Luxury Line Automatic, 530e i Performance Sport Line Automatic, 530e i Performance M Sport Automatic, 530i M Sport Sport Automatic, and M5 M Automatic. Exterior features of the 520i Luxury Line include Automatic auto leveling adaptive LED reflector headlights, automatic high beams, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the front, sides, and rear, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, chrome line exterior trim, dual chrome exhaust pipes, chrome kidney grille, and body colored door handles and side mirrors. Speakers right there, and right there, central locking, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, window lock, and your rear sunshade control which I'll show you later. Storage, bottle holder, and your powered boot lid release button. Interior brightness adjustment, parking lights, storage, luxury line door sills, and the driver's seat in this 520i luxury line does get full powered adjustments. With all of the controls located right down there, including your side bolster support. The only manual adjustment for the seat comes in the form of the thigh support, adjusted using the lever right here. You can also find two-person memory settings for the driver's seat set using the buttons right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she rows.
Quad Zone Automatic Climate Control System. These are your front controls and there are a separate set of controls for the rear which I'll show you later. But back to the front controls. Fan speed, temperature, automatic and different modes for the driver. Same set of controls for the front passenger, so fan speed, temperature, automatic and different modes. To the far left, maximum air conditioning as well as your front and rear defrost buttons. To the right, or far right if you will, sync mode means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control all of the controllable options, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual controls, recirculation and air conditioning. In the middle, if you hit the menu button, you can bring up the climate control menu on the infotainment display. And just above the climate control panel, different mode selection button, different band selection button, volume and power, your eight, um, seven customizable buttons. You can program these seven buttons to store, say, your favorite navigation address, your favorite contacts, and favorite radio station, so on and so forth. CD player above, eject button for the CD player, seat track, and this button brings up your connected drive menu again on the info infotainment display. Storage, USB port, power outlet, and a couple of cup holders. Obviously with a cover if you do not want it exposed. Parking sensors. And right here is the 520's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. There is an auto hold function for the parking brake, whereby say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake. With the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The 5 Series comes as standard with the Navigation System Professional Touch Screen Head Unit. The system features a 10.25-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. Sound is provided by the Hi-Fi loudspeaker system with 12 speakers and 205 watts of power. The hi-fi loudspeaker system that this 520 has is actually quite good. Apart from the touch screen function, the infotainment display can also be controlled using your set of controls located down the center console right next to the gear lever. The knob goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. Behind the knob, back and option buttons and ahead of the knob, Media, Communications, Menu, Map, and Navigation shortcut buttons. There is also a touchpad right above the knob where you can input um, gestures, letters, and numbers into the system. Now let's start with the Media Radio menu. And right here we are brought to your list of media options. Right above, Saved Stations. But you can also look at your FM AM, Music Collection, Bluetooth Audio, CD, DVD, um, screen mirroring, USB, and below, adjust the sound system settings with your bass treble, balance fader, various volume settings, resetting the system back to factory settings, and your touch screen and touchpad audio feedback. You can manage mobile devices and personalize the menu. Since Bluetooth audio is playing at the moment, Right here, we have the current song playing information, artist, album, title, and list of songs. To the left, you can search, look at artists, tracks, and activate shuffle. To the right, you can bring up your split screen option, select what you want to be displayed, and right above, turn off the split screen function. 
Next up, communication. You can look at your contacts, call lists, dial number, manage mobile devices, bring up your BMW assistance, BMW messages, look at your messages, memos, and again, personalize the menu. Navigation. Connected drive. My vehicle with your various vehicle settings. I drive settings, contents of main menu, driver profiles, technology in action, efficient dynamics monitor, driving style analysis, and sport displays. Right here shows you how much power and torque you are using. Driving information, onboard computer and trip computer, and lastly, owner's handbook. Lastly, notifications. Central locking. Rear sunshade. As shown earlier, power folding side mirrors. Cruise control and speed limiter controls. Volume controls, seat track, different mode selection, Bluetooth telephone control, and voice control. Wiper controls. Indicator controls. Press this button to activate the automatic high beams and the top button goes through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Previously it was the mileage and trip meter. Right now, fuel consumption. Average speed and average fuel consumption. Turning the display off and back to the mileage and trip meter. The steering wheel in this car is fully powered, tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Right here, this button activates or deactivates the vehicle's automatic stop-start feature. If you do have the feature activated, again when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam, the engine will momentarily shut off to save that extra bit of petrol that the car uses. Front center armrest with storage below. There is another USB port and power outlet right in here as well. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, LED reading lights and interior light, SOS emergency button. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights. Grip handle for the driver. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Storage, window control, sunshades for the rear windows,
I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a tiny bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. Fairly spacious and the seats are fairly nice and comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets as well as cutouts which help with additional leg room. You can find aircon vents on the B pillars. And in the middle, below the middle aircon vents is the aforementioned rear climate control system. Temperature for each side, automatic, different modes, fan speed and maximum air conditioning. Below, storage and a couple of power outlets. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. You can also find hooks on the B pillars. Rear LED reading lights and interior light. There are four ways to operate the powered boot lid in this 5 series. Boot space in the 5 series is 530 litres. On both sides of the boot are storage areas, to the left is a hook and to the right is a power outlet. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. The front headrests are powered.
central locking, speakers, bottle holder, storage, and window control. The front passenger seat in this 520i does get full powered adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side just that this side loses out on the memory settings. Lockable glove box. It is of a decent size. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a couple of LED lights as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2019 BMW 520i luxury line. Thanks for watching and goodbye.